Old Alabama Gardener here. Sometimes on the place you gotta do more than gardening. So today we're gonna cut a tree. This is a big tree and I want it to fall in the direction that I'm pointing with my fingers. And I've got the chainsaw warming up. To help it fall in the direction that I want it to go, I'm going to notch it in the direction that I want it to fall. Okay, that's the bottom cut of the notch. Now we'll make the top cut of the notch. Now we're ready to make the cut that's going to bring the tree down. And you make this cut higher than the cut where you made the wedge. My chainsaw bar is not long enough to go even halfway through this tree. So I'm having to do what's called plunge cutting. Plunge cutting is okay, but it's a tendency for the saw to kick back and hit you where you don't want to be hit. So I've got a pretty good cut on it, but it still doesn't seem like it wants to fall, so I'm going to have to cut it a little more. Now I'm going to use a steel wedge and a slab hammer, and I'm going to force the tree to start leaning in the direction that I want it to go. Now you watch that saw cut get starting to get wider as I drive that steel wedge into the cut. Well, I'm still not able to get the tree to fall, so I'm going to have to cut it a little more. As you can see here, this is not a full tree. The top of it broke out a few years back. So now I'm just taking out the rest of what's left. Wow, that's a boy. That's move this time. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Move, honey. Yeah. Just it. Writing money. Yep. That you put. No, no head to, you know, over here. Must be pretty sad at the food. Huh? Maybe good, huh? Inside. Yeah, it's getting rotten, but. It's a big tree. That's a step. Yeah. But you see how dark it is in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's getting yeah. rotten. I know. Cutting the tree down is only part of the work. Now we got to cut it up and haul it out to a brush pile way out front. With the tractor and this fork, I can handle a, a log of this about maybe six feet long. So I'm going to put the forks under it and then we'll cut a block out of it. I better put a chain on this because if that log rolls, it's going to be way too heavy for me to try to roll it back up on the forks. Now, let's finish cutting this block out of this log. Now that we've got the cut made, let's start the tractor up and 
see if we can lift this mold. Oh yeah, the tractor can handle it quite well. It'll haul it out to a burn pile and then maybe later on this winter I'll burn all the trash that's out there. Now I want that stump cut down flush with the ground. I want it to be down at ground level so I can drive over it with the tractor. Because it's such a large stump I'm going to have to actually cut this block or cut the stump into wedges and then cut them out one at a time. So now here I am, I'm down to the last piece of the stump to uh, be removed. So now all we got left to do is finish cutting up the tree and pick up these blocks and haul them out to the burn pile.